Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're going to learn how to hide selected contour on the Cricut Craft Room. Um, what does hide selected contour mean? It actually means, if, if you look up here, I've got this uh, person from Once Upon a Princess, and she's got these eyes, and each one of those things are cuts, and those are the contours we're talking about. So, let's say I want to get rid of these eyes. I put, I get my box around her, and down here in the left corner is a button that says hide contour. I'm going to click on that and a new screen comes up. We can still see some of the other things on the map but you'll notice this is darkened. Now you will see that when I run the cursor over it I've got red lines. Those are the lines that tell me I could either hide them or keep them. Now I'm going to click on these two eyes and you notice they sort of fade out now. That means that those are not going to cut when it comes time to cut. So now I exit, and now she has no eyes. So that means you could use one of those cute peachy keen stamps that shows the eyes on them and the face or whatever you want. So here's another example. I've got this Paris, Rome, New York, London, Milan um, box up here, and this is from the Word Collage cartridge. Let's say I wanted to cut Paris, New York, and Milan out of one color of paper and Rome and London out of a different color of paper. And you're obviously not going to be able to fit little slices of paper in here, so we'll do hide selected contour to hide the Roman London for when we want to cut the, paper, the Paris, New York, and Milan in black. So now I've clicked on, as you see in the, a moment ago, the hide selected contour, and here we are. So to get out of it, to get rid of Rome and London, notice that it's red. I just click on that and it fades in the background. I need to catch the middle of the O, the middle of the E, and then I do each one of these London pieces. And when I'm done with this, all that will be left that will be cut is Paris, New York, and Milan. Okay, so let's go back and take a look. All gone. Okay, finally, I have a situation down here we often encounter when we're working with cards and envelopes, and that's that um, they have these little tick marks that actually cut out and they help you to know where to put score lines. Now in this case we've got a ticket shaped card that I picked up from the Damask Decor cartridge, although there's other cartridges with the little ticket shape such as Birthday Bash and whatnot. But anyway, here are the little, these little cut marks and they can sometimes be unsightly so we want to get rid of those. In this case, for some reason, which I don't know, the hide selected contour does not want to work. They don't even show up. So a way around that, a workaround around that, is to go ahead and you grab this box. I've taken a box from um, Craft Room Basics, which comes free with the Cricut Craft Room, and I've sized it, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right in here and weld it to, um, to the card. Now, I had a problem there for a minute. You could see it didn't want to weld, and what I did is I made sure the box touched this top little section right in here and then that helps. So now when I click off of it, you can see that the tick marks are gone. So that's a way to get around that um, problem with the tick marks on cards and envelopes. I hope this tutorial was helpful on Hide Selected Contour and have a great day. Be sure to visit my blog at obsessedwithscrapbooking.com. Take care.